Good afternoon. I'm Richard Podmore with South Carolina Department of Education, Office of Transportation. I'm the Director of Safety and Information. Um, I want to thank you all for being here at this press conference. The purpose, of course, is to, uh, in, in recognition of National School Bus Safety Week, and to make the public aware of the important role that they play in ensuring the safety of students as they ride on school buses in the state of South Carolina. We know that school buses are one of the most safe trans forms of transportation, but unfortunately, every year nationwide, there are students who are injured and uh, killed around school buses because vehicles uh, fail to stop for a school bus that is stopped to load or unload students. Um, in recognition of and support of National School Bus Safety Week, which is this week, October 17th through 21st, our agency in the Department of Public Safety is reminding vehicle drivers of the importance of school bus stop safety and following the laws of the state of South Carolina. Uh, at this time, I'm gonna turn things over to Mike Bowman, our Director of Safety, Director of uh, Transportation. Thank, thanks, Richard. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Mike Bowman with the Department of Education, uh, currently the Director of the Office of Transportation. Uh, again, as Richard has already stated, we're certainly excited to kick off school bus, National School Bus Safety Week with, uh, with not only the unveiling of uh, the safety bus here, but certainly uh, everything and all the initiatives that we put into place to, to make school bus transportation as safe as it possibly can be. Uh, just a couple of things here that I want to update update you on about the fleet and, and where we are in terms of safety initiatives and things that we've I implemented uh, certainly during the last uh, eight years of, of Ms. Superintendent Spearman's tenure. So some of those things, first I'd like to say again, uh, thank DPS for their partnership. Uh, again, without them, this, this couldn't be possible. They have elevated uh, the level of, of school bus safety to a, to a whole other degree and certainly in the state and we certainly appreciate their partnership. A um, couple of little things, state has approximately 5,600 school buses uh, and of those uh, 5,600, uh, over 4,000 of those buses have been replaced in the last eight years. Again, that's phenomenal. We uh, at one time the state was sort of known unfortunately for having the oldest fleet in the country and now that fleet is one of the newest fleets in the country. So again, not only does that bring uh, reliability, efficiency, but the most important thing that it brings is an elevated level of safety. When you think about the, the, the things that have been put on these new buses, everything from LED lighting to the added stop arm to collision avoidance, all those things that go along with having new school buses in the fleet. And, and, and after all, uh, it, it's about keeping children safe. We certainly, when you look at things like breakdowns and all those kind of things, the department went from approximately 15,000 annual service calls to about 5,000 annual service calls. Again, so what does that mean? Obviously, if a bus is broken down, that has the potential to be an unsafe environment. Not only that, it keeps kids out of the classroom. So again, all those things, when you talk about new buses and what they bring to the table, have led to an elevated level of safety. Uh, a couple of more things here. Um, we've uh, the, the agencies also looked at the environment. They've looked at the uh, uh, economy of fuel. They looked at the, the cost of fuel. They looked at all those things that go along with new buses. Under Superintendent Spearman, she's been able to uh, implement into the fleet 453 propane-powered buses. So again, that that bus alone from the bus that it replaced, the 1988 model, uh, has a savings or, or is cleaner by about 98%. So again, when you look at the impact that that has on the students and the overall population of the state, it's tremendous. Um, the agency is also about to have, as, as most of you know, um, there was a, there's a 15 year replacement cycle in this state. And uh, basically it says that school buses can't or shouldn't be operated older than 15 years old. And for the first time, that goal will be met before the end of this calendar year. So again, that's monumental to say that the fleet uh, has gone from being one of the oldest to meeting the, 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 the mandated 15 year replacement cycle is monumental. And again, it, it's, it's, been a, it's been a joint effort by everybody to make that happen. Um, when Superintendent Spearman was elected, the oldest bus in the, in the fleet was 26 to 27 years old. 
and that will soon, as I just mentioned, that will soon be 15 years old or less. So again, it's it's been a tremendous, tremendous, uh, really transformation. So, um, and in closing, uh, I just like to say that as we talk about these fleet facts, they're not inconsequential. Again, they're they're all they all impact the safety and reliability of the school bus. And after all, uh, again, if there's anything we can do to improve safety and efficiency, it's a win for everybody, most importantly for the students. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colonel Chris Williams, commander of the South Carolina Highway Patrol. The Highway Patrol has had a long partnership with the South Carolina Department of Education uh, dating back as far as the 1950s, when patrolmen then at that time, instead of state troopers, as they were called, they served as school bus drivers trainers. Since the early 1980s, the patrol has assigned a trooper to the South Carolina Department of Education uh, Transportation Office to serve as the state school bus uh, safety coordinator, as well as the law enforcement liaison. While both agents have been partners, there are so many others that contribute to keeping our kids safe on and around the school bus as they travel day to day. Uh, that includes the bus drivers themselves, the mechanics who works on the buses, our parents, students, school districts, and last but not least, law enforcement and other first responders, as well as the motoring public who come in contact with the nearly 5,600 school buses who travel on our roadways each and every day. As we recognize National School Bus Safety Week, it is a great time to remind everyone of the role they play in keeping the children, which is our most precious cargo, in keeping them safe. Parents should constantly remind their children of school bus safety rules, such as staying out of the roadway while waiting for the bus and to wait the bus driver's signal before crossing the road or loading the bus. They should also educate their children about staying clear of the four danger zones around a school bus, which you can see depicted on the side of the bus that's behind me. The motoring public should expect that school buses, whether they are traveling in the morning or the afternoon, will be filled with students and that the bus will have to stop to load or unload those students at any given time. The motor Republic should remind it to watch for the school bus to activate its warning lights and the stop arm. When, when required by law, all drivers must stop when these devices has been activated to pre prevent a child from being struck or hit that which may lead, lead to some injury or, or damage to, to that child itself. Failing to stop for a stop school bus can result in a, a, a fine that would be over $1,062.50 and it would also cost a violator a six point violation against their driver's license. The bus you see behind me is another tool that both the South Carolina Department of Education as well as the South Carolina Department of Public Safety we use as a tool to promote school bus safety. In closing, as everyone else Today he has stated, we all share the responsibility to keeping our children safe around school buses. And I challenge each of you to do your part and stand up accountable to your responsibility. Thank you. All right, good afternoon. I'm Sergeant Matt Southern of the South Carolina Highway Patrol and I serve as the state school bus safety coordinator. I I'm thankful for the partnership that the Department of Education and the South Carolina Department of Public Safety has had for over 40 years. I'm the eighth person in a 40 year history to hold this position and it's something that I take very seriously. Close to 350,000 students ride on a school bus every day. 5,600 of these on our roadways every single day. So there is a good chance that a motorist is going to encounter a school bus at some point when they're out making their travels every day. Do your part. We've already had 925 reported violations of people passing a stop school bus just this school year. When you see that yellow school bus, anticipate that it's going to stop. Anticipate that there are going to be students getting on or off of that bus and do your part to protect them.